Isaiah 43, verse 1, 2, 3. But now, thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. Mm. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. This situation in which you are in, stop complaining. It may be the right position for the answer. It is not true that you came by air, you removed all the seas, all the lakes, all the mountains. You flew above, but you did not remove the mountains. Yes. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus give, me the grace give me the grace to grow stronger, to grow stronger than, the than the situation and grow higher, and grow higher. fly above this situation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good morning, church. Good morning. I'm uh, Reverend Charles Kafunda from Lusaka. Um, man of God, we've been greatly enriched by the way that you've preached to us. When I look at my life, sometimes I've complained a lot, uh, looking at the situations that I could have gone through. But I now I've come to realize that I'm not supposed to remove the mountains or the challenges ahead of me, but I need to move high above them. So I'm very, very grateful. You and need to, to ask word. the purpose, God's purpose of your coming here. And you should concentrate on his word. Or your issue is not that you are poor or you are rich or whatever. Your issue is lack of concentration. You are a man of God. At the same time, when you see the business, you want to go there. At the same time, if you want to capture this side of God, then at the same time, you want to go to the business. You are this way. You are the other way. So when you see that the side of business is not going on well, then you say, God is not working for me, oh God. It's true, man of God. Are you really God within me or... It's very true, man. God, I serve. Are you the one or... Then because of the disappointment of the business, you carry the disappointment, you put it to the house of God, to your ministry. It's, it's true, man of God. And you... Mm. <sighs> man of God, what you have said is very, very true. I confirm that many times when I'm challenged, I get back and I tend to begin to question God and ask whether really I am in the line of God or not. What you have said is very, very true, man of God. I confirm that. But listen, give us day to day our daily wisdom. When you wake up in the morning, how many times do you ask for wisdom? Our daily knowledge, our daily understanding. Or you just walk with, as if you didn't take breakfast. Let's say yesterday you ate, but today you did not take breakfast. You didn't take lunch. In the evening, will you feel that strength? No, man of God. The same way, make it as a breakfast. Give us day to day our day wisdom, our day knowledge, our day understanding, our day success, our day breakthrough, our day protection. Our you must ask for it daily, not yearly or monthly. Ask for it daily. Our daily customers, even those who are going to buy from there, because you have asked them from God, they will come and... What you have said, man of God, is true. I lack concentration on my ministry. You lack concentration. Don't say you are poor or oh, God has not blessed you. God has blessed you, but you don't concentrate. The time you stood to go to business, that is when everything went boom. Then you came back frustrated. Then the ministry also boom. 
what you have said is true, man can, of God. Can you now revive yourself with this message every day? In the morning, our Father, thou art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come into my life. Your kingdom come. Don't say your kingdom come. Your kingdom come into my life. Thy will be done in my life as it is done in heaven. Give us day to day our daily wisdom, our daily knowledge, our daily understanding, our daily power, our daily success, victory, prosperity. Ask for it daily, not yearly, not monthly. As you eat food daily, ask for it daily. You business people, ask for it daily. Ask for wisdom daily. Ask for customers daily. Ask for protection daily. Ask for money daily. My name is Sarah Chilupiatstala Kafonda. I'm from Lusaka, Zambia. My question is, um, I want to know the root of my limitation because growing up, I was very intelligent and everything that I did succeeded. But from the time I got married, I started um, experiencing especially menstrual pains, which are every month and they will be severe, disturbing my life. And from that time, I've never conceived. Where's the husband? He's here. Hey, you don't have a kid with him? No. They've been married for 17 years. What did the doctor say? Um, I was told I have fibroids. And the husband, they said what? They said yes. uh, low sperm count. Yeah, for this gentleman. What a blood Zambia. Jesus. He's going on for this couple from Zambia. Mad name Jesus. But I command the spirit of killing, stealing, destruction. But I give them children. Pick up, pick up. the screens of the television brethren as the prayer is continuing for the husband the lady has already started vomiting out the lord jesus christ is working out something for her the holy spirit is unblocking her reproductive system Jesus. whatever blockage out continue to watch as the lady continues to receive her deliverance through vomiting out whatever has been blocking her tubes Whatever be the cause of infertility in her is being uprooted right now. And she's vomiting it. Watch on the screen and see what she's vomiting. 